Okay, so we will start with next point in the structure that is structure pointer variable. Okay, so this is based on structure and pointer type. So how to create structure pointer type of variable and how to initialize it and how to display the information using structure pointer type of variable. For that, first we can create one structure, structure student, having data members integer roll number, names and marks. These are the data members of the structure student. Now, after that, we can create one structure variable, simple structure variable, that is struct student s. This is a structure variable of type simple or it is value variable, structures value variable. Now we can create structures pointer type of variable. Okay, so create structures pointer type of variable, structure student pointer p. Now p is a pointer type of variable of type structure. Understood the meaning? First, s is the value variable of type structure. Second, pointer p is the pointer type of variable of type structure. Clear? Means what? This pointer type of variable stores address of another value variable and s actual contains the value. So what is the memory management for that? Two. First, for s, how many bytes are reserved? 2 plus 10 plus 2, 14 bytes are reserved for which variable? S variable. And memory management is S dot roll number, then S dot name starts from 0 dot S dot name of 9, next S dot marks. So total 14 bytes are reserved for the variable s. It is a value variable. That means actual value of roll number, name and marks are stored into s variable. Understood the meaning? Okay. Next part. Pointer p. For pointer p also we will get reserved. But how many bytes are reserved for the p? Only 2 bytes. Because what p stores? p stores address of another structure's value variable. That means if this s is a value variable and base address is 100, so last address of this s variable is 113 because total 14 bytes are reserved for the s variable. Now what p contains? p contains only address of another structure's value variable. If integer pointer, what integer pointer stores? Address of another integer value variable. If structure pointer is there, what structure pointer contains? Contains address of another structure's value variable. Understood the meaning? Now, what we can assign the value first to the structure's value variable. How we can assign at the compile time itself? There are number of ways. So, different. So, s dot what? Roll number. Directly, I assign value 1. What is the meaning of that? S dot wrong number now assign the value as a 1. So this value is assigned here in the memory. 1 is directly assigned. That means this initialization is at the compile time itself. We cannot take value from the user. Second, <coughs> S dot name assign value as a suppose x, y, z double quotes complete. So, directly this value is assigned here, x, y, z and last value is slash 0. We know that string ends with the slash 0. Next, s dot marks and assign the value of marks suppose 90%. So, 90, q semicolon. So, 90 marks are assigned here, s dot marks. Okay. So, now S is a structure's value variable. We can assign values to the structure's data members. These are roll number, name and marks are structure's data member. Remember one thing. Using structure's value variable, when we 
access the roll number, name and marks that is structures data members use dot operator. When you access structures data members using structures simple value variable use dot operator. Okay, now, now we can assign address of S that is value variable to who? P. So write this statement as a P is equal to address of S. Now what is the meaning? Now P contains address of S means P points to the value variable S. Understood the meaning? Now we can access all the information of the student S via structures pointer variable. Okay, so display the all information of the student. We know how to display using S, S dot roll number, S dot name, and S dot marks. It is easy. But now we can access the student information using structures pointer type of variable. When we access the student information, data members, access the student data members using structures pointer type of use variable, use arrow operator. Don't use dot operator use arrow operator means now we want to print first print printf student record slash n this is the first message after that we print roll number so roll number is equal to percentage d double quotes complete comma so how to access roll number using structures pointer type of variable how p arrow roll number then semicolon second printf name is equal to percentage s double quotes complete p arrow name don't use dot operator here because <coughs> p is structures pointer type of variable and using structures pointer type of variable when we access the data members of the structure use arrow operator and when we can access structures data members using structures simple value variable then use dot operator okay so third thing printf marks is equal to percentage percentage d double quotes complete p arrow marks next get ch and main function complete so that is all about how to access structures data member using structures pointer type of variable when we access structures data members using structures pointer type of variable use arrow operator and using structure simple value variable when we access structure data members use dot operator use dot operator understood the meaning how we can access structure data members using structures value variable and structures pointer type of variable okay so today we will stop here